I just wanted to uh, tell you about uh, Division 6's morphium and kind of explain how it works. It's uh, basically just a VCA. You, uh, you put an envelope or a CV, positive going CV, into uh, the master CV input and uh, have a main signal going into the, the main input, run the output to uh, some sort of recording device or amplifier. And it works like a normal VCA. The important part of uh, the morphium, the exciting part about it, is its modulation capability. If you look on the scope in, in, the, in the CV input, the modulation input right here, uh, the top trace of the scope is a purple trace and it's uh, about a 100 hertz square wave. And I'm going to use that for my modulation in a little while. And my main signal in, which is the bottom trace, is, uh, is uh, about a 700 hertz uh, sawtooth. Uh, I don't want to keep a main CV in here, but we have a drone level sitting here where you can actually just bring up the output and just have your signal just bleed straight through. And uh, you set that at whatever it level you want. So if you look on the bottom trace, you have, uh, you have your 800 hertz uh, sawtooth and the top trace is what we're going to use for our modulation source. So as I change the modulation amount, you're going to notice that the main signal, main signal is going to uh, be affected Uh, by uh, by what the modulation waveform is doing. So you can see that as the modulation signal is a uh, full negative uh, voltage that it's allowing the signal to go through and, and at the full upper level it's uh, it's basically chopping it up and it gives you a zero output and that's full-blown uh, amplitude modulation. If you look down here on the spectrum analyzer, you'll notice that your original signal is at 800 hertz. And as you bring up the modulation, it starts developing side tones. Those side tones are the sum and difference of uh, the modulation frequency. You actually you add and subtract those from your main frequency. So you see you have side tones at uh, 700 and 900 hertz. And you still have your your 800 hertz uh, main signal present. In, in radio, this would be considered uh, full-blown amplitude modulation. Your main signal would be the frequency you tune to and the side tones would be your information. So you can plug a microphone into this thing and modulate your signal uh, with that instead of a square wave. And if you wanted to, if you had about a 29 mile long antenna, you could actually broadcast this, but there's a reason why radio works in higher frequencies. And it seems like a lot of wire just to uh, broadcast a square wave. But you'll notice that as you get down to 100% modulation, the radio stations said, well, we're, we got this huge main signal. It's basically the channel you tune to. It's not the information. Why are we putting all this money and time into uh, transmitting this when uh, the majority of the signal, 70% of it, isn't necessary? It's not the information. So they decided they'd come up with suppressed carrier AM. So the main signal goes away, and they're just broadcasting the intelligence. In this case, it would be the two side tones at 700 and 900 hertz. Well, this is ring modulation. It's just a press carrier amplitude modulation. In the audio realm, we actually use these sounds at, uh, with amplitude modulation. You can tell that the, it's a sum and difference of the, of the main frequency. So you end up with uh, enharmonic tones. And they're not harmonic relationships, and that's why you can uh, change things around and get metallic type sounds, bells, gongs, chimes, just based on how you do it. Ring modulation, you get the same side tones, 
but your main signal's out of the mix. So basically what this module does is it goes from no modulation, develops the side tones and, into uh, full-blown amplitude modulation, but then continues to bring the main signal down while bringing up the side tones into full ring modulation. And so th what this control does is basically a volume ratio control between the side tones and your main signal. And the cool part about this, besides being able to do that, is this is also voltage controlled on the, on the Morpheum. And I have a real slow triangle wave. And so we ring up the modulation amount. We can have this set up so that you can actually modulate that function. If you look down here on the spectrum analyzer, you'll notice that the main signal's going in and out, and the side tones are going in and out. So that's that's a unique character of this device, and it's uh, different than anything else that's out there.